Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Wednesday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. And today is a special memorial. This is a memorial for St. Andrew Dung Lok, priest and his companions, all martyrs of Vietnam. And this commemorates especially uh, the time between the 17th and the 19th century when there were about 130,000 Christians in Vietnam that were martyred for their faith. And in particular, today's memorial for uh, St. Andrew Dung Lok and Companions focuses on the 19th century in the 1800s when there were 117 that were martyred for their faith. And uh, this is a special day for us to again remember their martyrdom. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons, and they will have you led by before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist and refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as we again uh, get ready for Advent, beginning in just a few days, we're dealing with future things. In particular, in Luke's Gospel, however, we're not dealing with the end of uh, time. We are dealing with the end of a season that will take place in 40 years, the uh, destruction of Jerusalem and the destruction of the temple. And again, uh, we see here Jesus preparing his disciples for something that is imminent, something that can happen within their lifetime, and something that he wants to assure them they will be prepared to handle. As he said, uh, they're going to be led before kings and governors. They're going to be taken and uh, handed over to synagogues and prisons. And during the destruction of Jerusalem, during the destruction of the temple, and in fact an, uh, uh, an overtaking in an aggressive way by the Romans, of the whole Judean area, something that they had already occupied, but now they are getting ready to ransack. One of the things that we see here is that there's going to be an all-out persecution of Christians. Now, what's going to be happening in this time is that the, uh, the Romans are going to be Uh, basically attacking uh, not only Christians, but the Jews as they they destroy Jerusalem, as they uh, basically ransack and destroy the temple, take off uh, with all of the uh, religious articles, especially those of value, is one of the things that they are after. They're after the gold. They're after things that have that kind of monetary value. And so the Romans are going to be persecuting Christians and the Jews. The Jews in turn, are also going to be not only fighting the the, uh, Romans, but they're also persecuting the Christians because they believe that the Christians are wanting to destroy or and renounce uh, Judaism. So we got a lot of of turmoil going on. During this point in in, uh, history, in fact, there was a great dispersion. We have the dispersion of the Jews Uh, due to the uh, Roman aggressive occupation. But we also have the dispersion of the Christians going down into Egypt, going up into Asia Minor, and settling there again, uh, fleeing from all of the persecution that they were facing. But during those times, 
of persecution, Jesus, again, saying, okay, you're going to be uh, handed over to uh, synagogues, you're going to be handed over to prisons, kings, governors, you're going to be basically uh, placed before a lot of different rulers during this time. We can see this happening particularly in the ministry of Peter and Paul, uh, the, the two saints that have, you know, are basically the anchors of the church, Peter being the first among equals, uh, the first of the popes, and uh, Paul, the first of the great missionaries. And so these two uh, stand arm in arm in terms of their uh, handling of that uh, time in history uh, as they see persecution beginning to take place and the dispersion also happening. And one of the things that Jesus says here is, remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. And that's an interesting concept. He says, I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist and refute. We've seen this happen historically in the church during this time, that the, uh, especially with the coming of the Holy Spirit, that there was a, a, an anointing, there was a given of, of wisdom to, the, um, to the, the disciples, particularly the apostles, to speak wisdom beyond their own ability that, uh, that, of course, Jesus says is going to come as his gift to them. He's going to give them this. And, you know, this comes as he reminds them that there's another uh, advocate that's going to be given to them, the Holy Spirit. So this is going to be taking place. The other thing that's interesting that he mentions that did happen as a part of this great upheaval, he says, you're going to be handed over even by parents, brothers, relatives, friends. In other words, there's going to be a separation and, and a, a polarization within families, within neighborhoods, within friendships based on their embrace of Jesus as he said in another place, you know, he didn't come to bring peace, but a sword. In other words, uh, he came to not to to deal with with bringing peace, but at this point came to to bring redemption. And his means for redemption would be seen by some as something to stand against, especially uh, like the Pharisees and the Sadducees, those that aligned with them, uh, basically stood against uh, the purposes of Christ. He says, you're going to be hated because of my name, that, that Christians, and at this point, they weren't called Christians, but those that were followers of Jesus, followers of Christ, it, uh, early on they were called the way, would be hated because of their faith. They, they were hated because they would not bow to the emperor, but they are also hated because uh, the Jews did not see them as uh, being faithful to their uh, their covenant as Jews. He says, but not a hair of your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. He's not talking about their physical life, but eternal life there. He's talking about the fact that, that the, again, in another place he talks about, don't fear those who can kill the body, but who those who can kill the soul. So again, some of them will be destroyed. Some of them uh, will uh, face death. But in doing so, uh, they will, in that, be assured of their eternal reward, their eternal destination. And on the memorial of St. Andrew Dunlock, this is a wonderful thing for us to comprehend. How good it is that as we remain faithful to him, no matter what is going on in our world, that he will guide us toward eternal life. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, most of us are not going to face martyrdom in our lifetime, uh, at least as it seems right now. But probably most of us face other kinds of minor persecutions, just people making fun of our faith, people putting down the church. Uh, there are numbers of reasons that people have for just uh, just dismissing it all. And it's, it's good for us to be reminded uh, that even in these small persecutions, in these awkward moments, our need to be faithful to our, our Lord and to his church. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.